Dear colleagues, this video shows what I do if I catch the pupillary margin during FECO emulsification. Unless you take a measure of this kind, you can repeatedly catch the iris and the surgery can be cumbersome to proceed. Use of a Y-shaped instrument is a very simple technique to overcome such situations. In this case, by this time incisions have been made. The capsule has been stained with trypan blue dye and at this point of time, capsular axis is being completed with a uterata forceps. Yes, it is done. Now, hydro dissection is to be done. We can see that the pupil has not dilated well in this case. Hydro dissection is done very carefully. You could see that the nucleus got elevated. The nucleus is depressed and rotated. And now is the time to enter into the eye with the FACO handpiece. Viscolistic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. And with the bevel down position, the FACO handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. The superficial cortical matter is removed for better visibility. Now the tip, FACO tip is turned and the tape is buried into the substance of the nucleus and the nucleus is chopped. That's it. And now I start emulsifying this fragment. Now see what happens. I caught the iris. This happened because this patient has some degree of floppiness of the iris. So what I do is I take this y shaped instrument support the iris so that it doesn't come to the tip of the phaco handpiece and very gently very slowly i emulsify the nuclear fragments i rotate the nucleus with the same instrument this oil shaped instrument and I emulsify the nuclear fragments. This nucleus was soft so it didn't need, it just needed only one chop. That's it. So with the help of this Y shaped instrument and with low vacuum and low flow rate I have managed this case. The iris came to the phaco tip only once and I took proper measures and after that the iris was not allowed to get engaged into the phaco tip. And now I am using a Simco cannula to remove the cortical matter. So friends, this is a very simple technique. Use this y shaped instrument and support the iris so that the iris margin doesn't come again and doesn't get caught into the tip of the phaco handpiece. By this time, the cortical cleanup has been done. This only little bit of cortex is there. At 12 o'clock, yes, it also came out. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. Little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule is done. This is viscoelastic substance, HPMC. And now this is the lens. A foldable intraocular lens is placed in the capsular bag. This is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens. That's it. The lens has gone into the capsular bag and now 
lot of viscoelastic substance is there in the capsular bag and in the anterior chamber in the anterior chamber angle so this viscoelastic substance has to be removed very thoroughly very nicely unless we remove this very thoroughly what can happen there can be rise of intraocular pressure in the post operative period we may have to use lot of medications we may have to use we may have to do paracentesis and anything whatever is required has to be done but prevention is better than cure we must remove all viscoelastic substance so that rise of intraocular pressure doesn't occur that's it so the viscoelastic substance is being removed at this time with the help of this simco cannula at this time it is behind the eye well and the capsular bag is being irrigated and aspirated in this case i used by manual ia also there is only one side port in this case so i have to introduce the irrigating probe through the main port so how to do that i must push the anterior wall of the main incision upward that is tent the anterior lip and the anterior chamber will remain deep if i press the posterior lip the anterior chamber will be shallow so i am happy now that all the viscous elastic substance has come out now the side port is hydrated and anterior chamber is formed and the case is concluded so in summary we see sometimes patients with mild floppiness of bodies and mid dilated people in such cases the iris mud the pupillary margin tends to come to the tip of the phaco handpiece so in such cases we have to take some measure so that the iris is not caught frequently the use of an y shaped instrument is a very simple technique just have to support the margin of the pupil so that it doesn't come to the tip of the phaco handpiece that's it and with low vacuum and low flow rate you can complete the case hope this helps